In this video, we're going to talk about business models and externalities. We're going to talk about how different business models lead to different kinds of externalities, that is, side effects of what the company does. We're going to talk about how companies can identify those externalities, and we're going to talk about how they can address those externalities in practice. By now, you, you know what a business model is, but we haven't talked that much about externalities. Externalities are sort of the side effects of the company's existence in some sense. Any company, when they enter the building in the morning, they turn on the energy, they turn on the lights. Any company uses energy, any company pays taxes, any company has impact on its local communities. And all of those are examples of the externalities of the company, sometimes called the footprint of the company. And there are two important distinctions here. On the one hand, there's the distinction between positive and negative externalities. On the other hand, there's the distinction between societal and environmental externalities. That's the impact on society and on the environment. So negative externalities then, can you give some examples of what that is? When we think about negative externalities, in an environmental sense, we often think about pollution, emissions, uh, it can be um, energy usage. And when we talk about societal negative externalities, we can talk about things like human rights abuses, uh, corruption, uh, the lack of uh, tax payments mm -hmm. and so on. We often talk about these things as being the shadow side of a company. There's those negative externalities of the company. But there's a, an upside as well, the, the sunny side. Can you, can you explain what that is? Yeah, much in the same way. You think of both societal and environmental benefits as coming out of what the company does. It could be that the company creates uh, products that are healthy for human beings. It can be that they take on a larger responsibility for their local communities and help build positive things in, in the societies, for instance. So every business model then has externalities, negative and positive, shadowy sides and sunny sides, but are all just as important? Well, the first step here is to, for a company to make sense of what their externalities actually are. And this is a big part of working with sustainability in a company, is really to start mapping what are the impacts that we are uh, creating on society and the environment. So then, as an organization, you need to map then, you, you need to identify the, the different negative and the positive externalities of the business model. But of course, no company can deal with all of the impacts that it has on society and in the environment. And perhaps they shouldn't even spend their resources in that way. So a second important challenge is to start prioritizing, to see which of these externalities do we need to address, do we need to do something about. So you have to choose. You have to choose which shadow side you're going to prioritize and you need to choose what kind of sunny sides you want to create more of. And this of course will depend, for instance, on what kind of industry you're in. If you're in fisheries, you would expect life underwater to be a priority. If you're an oil company, emissions are going to be a big issue. And if you're a grocery store, food waste mm. might be a big problem. Companies who want to become more sustainable, they need to redesign their business models in order to take care of the negative externalities and have to create more positive externalities. Sometimes that requires developing new products and services that can help your consumers live a more sustainable life. Other times you need to look into the delivery part, the resources that you use, the activities that you, that you do, and the partners that you have. Can you, for instance, turn others' waste into new resources for your company? And sometimes it requires looking at your value capture. Could you, for instance, offer new kinds of payment models that make your products accessible to consumers who usually wouldn't be able to afford them? These are the kinds of business model design choices that can make companies more sustainable by reducing their negative externalities and increasing their positive externalities. We started out this video by discussing the relationship between business models and externalities. And we've now established something important. Business model design matters for externalities. And if you want to do more of the good things and less of the bad things, you need to redesign your business models in ways that improve your footprint on society and the environment.